Uh, inclusion in society to my mind is universal design, access for all to all facilities, all opportunities within the community, starting right from the family to the colony to education to employment and so on. Um, and this would also mean while you get access to all opportunities, you also perform, you also contribute and you have an attitude and a mindset that you contribute to the society that you belong to. An inclusive society for me is a place where I am given equal chance and equal duties to show my capabilities. I don't need favors, I need justifications. At Adi, we've tried to change the focus of all our programs so that we achieve our vision. One of our main areas of work is education. Here we try and address a cross-section of ages from infanthood to adulthood. We want to convert the special school that we started off with into an inclusive school. We feel that a child is a child, whether that child is white or black or with disability. Similarly, the <coughs> education of children is education. And uh, society has a system of providing that education through uh, regular schools. So it does not make it different for children with disabilities. Tanya studies at St. Mary's School that follows an inclusive approach. Our principal, our teachers and the children, they're very cooperative and they I'm always participating in everything and they keep adjusting things for me. Initially when they didn't have the lift, they brought her class down, which was a major thing because walking into the school makes a difference and being carried into the school also makes a difference. It helps the children because, as I said, it teaches them to cope with different situations. When I say it helps the teacher, the teacher delivers differently. The child has to also learn to tackle different teaching methodologies then, right? So also you're learning to diversify your talents, learning to understand what your abilities are. So both teacher and student benefit from that environment of difference. Uh, I've been here since nine years. It's all, almost been like a family for me now. In rural areas, most villages have only one school. So a child with disability is automatically admitted in the mainstream school. Employment is a huge problem. The number of disabled people working in large corporate houses is minuscule. Raj Rani, who works for ICICI Bank, is an exception. I am first in the ICICI Bank. I am attached to these forms. I am very happy to be in the account appointment. Self-employment is often an alternative for people with disability in many rural areas, like Brijendra, who has taken a loan from NHFDC to start a small commercial enterprise. He makes tractor seats that are sold to big companies like Aisha and Escorts. Besides education and employment, there are a host of other issues that face an adult with disability that society does not even perceive. There are many issues, apart from job, apart from education, Entertainment. I think the basic issue is 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 the right to live freely. Is the right to say yes, I am a human being with physical and emotional needs. When you see others like uh, they getting settled. They getting married despite your disability. You are an individual with 
sound mind. So you also sometimes feel that yes, if I could also live my life in the same way.